everybody and welcome to my video getting tidier hope you're all well so today's monday and my husband was going into his head office today so i decided that um i'd start on the washing so normally on a monday morning i go to the supermarket but my husband has got some extra bits over the weekend so i didn't need to do that so i thought okay well i'll start straight away on putting a, a load on of washing on uh, lots of you comment about how I do a lot of washing. Um, I can't see how I can cut down the amount of washing that I do. Um, I guess you often see me putting washing on. I save up all my whites to have a white load because I love having my whites really, really white. I don't mix them. Um, and then you can see all the darks that I've got there. Um, I guess I do wear a clean top every day. My daughter has a uniform at school and then has clothes at the weekends, but things soon get mucky. Um, my husband probably wears a clean top every day as well. But I think that's what everybody does, generally. I mean, sometimes I'll wear a top for a couple of days. If it isn't marked, um, we haven't kind of, yeah, done a load of walking in it and made it so it needs to be washed. Um, so I thought I'd put the load on and then I'll start in the kitchen. So there's not loads for me to do in the kitchen uh, because I'm keeping on top of things. There are a couple of dishes from last night. Uh, there's a frying pan there with some onions left in. I don't know, I do say to my husband, like sometimes he'll leave a saucepan with a few vegetables or leave that frying pan with a few, a few onions. And I think, I don't moan, but I just think, why didn't he just put them on my plate? And if I then don't eat them, then fine. That's my choice, isn't it? Um, I'm not going to moan about having extra vegetables or extra fried onions. I love fried onions. Never used to, but I do, you know. Uh, so then they end up having to go in the bin, whereas I would have had them. We had a really nice dinner last night. We actually had a burger. We don't very often have burgers. Um, how my husband does them, really, really nice. So that was a nice treat. So I do some washing up, and then also I just move the camera so you can see the kitchen from the other angle. I'm still really enjoying the fact that I've got this new contraption for my phone. It was only a few pounds, I think it was 16 pounds. I feel like that's a good investment given I haven't got to keep, sometimes I'd spend ages trying to get my phone to stay still because it was in like a hanger. I know a couple of you spotted it on one of my videos. It was in a macrame hanger or macrame as some of you will say, with a plastic pot and then I balance my phone on it. And now I don't need to do that because I've got my husband's tripod that he had for his camera and I've got a little contraption which means that my phone fits on top. Then I can move it round at any angles. It's really clever. So you'll see me in a minute uh, work on the other side of the kitchen. So just trying to maintain everything. I did laugh because some of you comment about that you see things in the picture and you think, oh, what is that? So on this yesterday, somebody posted, what have you got next to your bed bin? And of course there, I've got two tins, a little watering can, and some bandages I use for cleaning and dusting. And, you know, by commenting, you made me think, good point, I don't actually need them on my work surface, do I? So I think one of the tins, I was wondering about getting rid of it or giving it back to the person who gave it to me. Um, but I, I haven't and it's just sat there. And the other tin I use for like my daughter's crispy cakes or things that we might make. So I put those two tins back in the pantry. I put the bandages under the sink for cleaning, ready. They don't need to be sitting on the side. And then I left a little watering can there. But I thought, good observation. Now the reason a couple of you have also said, why don't I put the bread bin in the corner and put my tools closer to the stove because it'll make it easier when cooking. Now that is an idea, but can you see the far end of the bread bin, actually the wall comes out. So the problem that I have, and that has to be like that because uh, there's pipe work behind the, that section. Now, the problem I have, if I put the bread bin in the corner, it will, part of it will sit out, out proud from the wall so by doing it like this I actually maximize the space so that's the reason for that and then while I was putting things away I thought well I might as well also clean under it uh, give it a good clean under there and I also cleaned all the 
wall as you can see so it's a good job done that was um, clearing up the work surface it is nice when you come into the kitchen it just feels it's so it's clear and you've actually got space to work for so long I haven't felt like that now with a little watering can I should find a place for that away really shouldn't I it'd be quite nice if that went under the sink but under the sink is chocker but I've only done layer one under the sink so maybe I could revisit that and and do layer two um, so when I while I was washing up I actually heard the door go and I went to the door and my husband had come back and I said is everything okay and he said oh yeah I just can't go in um, his back's playing up about 10 years ago he slipped three discs um, so he does have problems every so often with his back I'm convinced is actually aggravated by cycling and the interesting thing was on the Saturday afternoon he had a he went for a workout in his man cave um, and then Sunday morning he woke up with pains in his back so I think that the cycling aggravates it but I have said that for a while um, he's gone a, quite a lengthy period where he hasn't cycled and then the fact that he'd done some training and then it hurts again although I did say to him did you um, did you do stretches beforehand? So I don't know whether he did. He stopped going to the physio because he wasn't doing any of the exercises. Whereas I'm quite happy for him to go to physio, but you know, you've got to do the exercises, haven't you? If you don't do the exercises, you can't expect the physio to work. And then I wanted to clutter in here. So lots of you had said to me, what have you got on your shelf? What is all that stuff on your shelf? And um, there's quite a few empty plant pots. So I decided that empty plant pots don't really kind of go out on show, do they? You need to have plants in them. So I've dusted them all, put them all together, and i am put them in the kitchen at the moment. But that is something I am going to make space for under the sink in that big cupboard there. Or otherwise, I'll make space for them in the pantry. Uh, none of them I want to get rid of. There are the bluish ones, bluey green turquoise ones my sister bought me because they go with my fireplace in the front room. There are particular ones that I'd asked for. And the other ones are ones that I really like. So I did initially think that my stereo could be put right in the corner. But then I remembered the reason why it was a little bit further out was that I could just put a few cassettes in the corner. Now I know with all modern technology, and we do have Sonos, etc, etc in the house, people would think, why have you got that stereo? Well, it's because I don't very often play my records, but if I want to play my records, I can. I do like my records. Also, that is a tape player, a CD player, and radio. So it's all in one, sits quite nicely there. Uh, when my nephew came round, I got it all down and he put loads of records on, which he loved. Um, and I like vinyl. I went to a shop uh, at the weekends that sold vinyl because I was having a look to see if there was an M&M record for my nephew. And uh, I couldn't believe how busy the shop was. The shop was heaving with everyone going through vinyl and also old um, CDs. It was really, really busy. You might have picked up on the recording that my phone just beeped. Um, that's the lady who's coming to collect the books and the pens and the felt tips, etc, etc, that I've given away for free. So that's good news. So I just thought, when I put things back on the shelf, I've gone for a bit more of a simplified look. Um, one of the vases I took from the top of the little cabinet that I sorted out the other day with all my travel books. So I decided that it looked nicer in here. And then I just need to also sort out underneath. Um, gets All my craft box and everything needs to all be sorted out. My daughter was doing some work with that blue bucket. I don't know what she was doing. There was uh, sellotape in there, um, cling film, and some Lego bags. I can't think what she was doing with cling film. Uh, she go, she's been making stickers for quite some time. And uh, she does some really cute little drawings. So it might be that she was modifying her sticker design. That's quite possible. 
and you can see outside my back door how I've got her cardboard stilts so she's finished with the cardboard stilts now and the cardboard stilts have been put outside because I'm going to put them in the recycling at some point. So I was just going round and just sweeping up, um, getting rid of as much of the dust as possible. And the tin that's currently on that seat is full of my seeds. And like this afternoon I really want to get out of my greenhouse and plant some seeds. Although I've been, my husband needs to clean it all, he's going to clean it all with Jay's fluid. And also I'm missing two panes of glass. You know, we had that really bad weather and the really bad winds. Uh, I lost two panes of glass, so he's going to do that. And I feel like I'm a bit restricted because I can plant stuff without the pane of glass, but I can't really start planting things without the whole of the greenhouse being cl cleaned with watered down Jay's fluid. Otherwise, I'm going to have the problem that I had last year, which is actually having a greenhouse full of pests. Uh, every time I went into the greenhouse there were like loads of slugs and snails which I've never had that in previous years. I've had the mice come in one year I did my peas and I couldn't understand why none of the peas were coming up. None of them at all and I kept going out I kept planting more planting more and then I realised that the mice were just burrowing down and just getting the pea. So I was spending weeks waiting for things to grow that were never going to grow because the mice had eaten them. And this little bit behind the door does get a bit dusty, so I just moved all the leads out for a bit and out the bin and just thought thought I'll I'll just brush all around there and get all the dust up and the bits up. But it does sort of get in a pile behind the door along with uh, the charging leads. What do people do? What do you all do with charging leads? Do you leave them out all the time? Do you put them somewhere where they're like hidden away? So I get a bit fed up with seeing charging leads on the kitchen side, charging leads behind the lounge door, charging leads behind the dining room door. I never quite know what to do with them. And then you'll see me coming down the stairs with bags. They're all bags of rubbish that I've got rid of. So all of those are going out to the bin and the recycling bin. And also there's a birthday present that I need to give someone. It's a birthday present for one of my daughter's friends. And... Um, we couldn't meet, I think we had to ca cancel a couple of play dates because they were unwell and then we never organised another one. We were actually on holiday for her birthday um, and then I couldn't find where I put the present and then time went on and the mum didn't buy my daughter a present so I thought that was a bit odd. Then what, what, what was I going to do? It's going to create this sort of awkward feeling but in the end I've thought, well we got that from, from Disney World, my daughter chose it for that girl. It's irrelevant whether we got a my daughter got a present in August for her birthday. I'll still make a point of giving it to her. But then we, I couldn't find it. And it's because in one of my tidy up sprees, I'd shoved it in the old bedroom. So I decided to, it's unusual for my husband and um, daughter, my husband ran my daughter's bath. My daughter had a bath last night in hair wash and it's un, been un, unusual that it's left like this. It's not usually left like this. Usually my husband, cleans around the bath and puts everything away including when I have baths which is very good of him um, so I did go through the bag and there was a few things that I decided to get rid of that my daughter doesn't need anymore and then I wanted just to put things back into the cabinet and do you see my new radiator I like this radiator more than the last one I was really I'm really pleased with it it's much better for hanging the towels on it heats up really well and it looks nice so I'm pleased about that can you see on my window on the left, I've got a screen there to prevent the water from going onto the window. But can you see on the bottom where it's dark, that's actually where it's got mucky and there's black mould inside. They're like rubber strip. My mother-in-law was saying about how you can take the rubber strip off and leave it soaking. But I'm interested, what would you leave it soaking in? Or is it easier and better to get a new rubber strip and put that on and then I wanted to sort out some stuff at the top of the stairs so there's quite a few things here that are on the way to other places so things that need to go up to our bedroom things that need to go to my daughter's room things that need to go into the playroom things that need to go into the old room so I was getting a bit of a pile of stuff at the top of the stairs a lot of it is actually a clean clothes and as you know I love putting clean clothes away and then what I need to do uh, later is I must do some work 
on our bedroom. It's just got in a complete muddle. Really has piles and piles of clean washing. Uh, there's Easter things that need to be put away. There's some Christmas clothes that need to be put away. They were the things that I didn't take to the charity shop in time that are too small for my daughter. And I thought, oh, that'd be such a shame for them, just the charity shop, just to bin them. So I thought I'll put them in the Christmas cupboard, put them right in the front. And then when I take everything out, I'll be able to take them to the charity shop straight away. But I still haven't put them away. Loads of stuff all over the floor, all over the table. Um, clothes, clothes my husband puts on his chair, but that gets piled up. So much stuff. I'll have to do a big tidy before I actually do a video. <laughs> oh dear me. And then that little, see the little cots? That's going to go up in our bedroom in storage if I can find a place for it to go. Because I want to keep hold of that for now. Well, it's a bit awkward because I've got one. And my, well, I, my daughter has mine in her bedroom. And then my sister gave her hers. So we've got two um because my sister had two sons so she doesn't want you know they didn't want to play with it and she didn't want it anymore so we've got it and now i feel like i can't let go of it so this is all the stuff at my daughter's bedroom that i just wanted to again that's been put there because it needs to go somewhere else sometimes i realize i do that i sort out a room and when i'm moving one item to another room i just put it in the entrance of the room what i should do is actually take it to the room and put it away uh, but that's not always easy. And then a big pile of clean clothes, books and a few toys. So I spend some time going through that. And also you'll see towards the end of the video I go through my daughter's wardrobe and I manage to get rid of a few items there. So there's some Bowden clothes. So those of you that know the brand Bowden, those clothes do sell on eBay. Um, I don't find that any other clothes do. But Bowden clothes do sell quite well. There is a demand for them. So I'll po post them online and send them off. Get some money for my daughter's um, summer holidays. Get some more spending money. So I hope you're all well. Uh, thank you very much for your ongoing help and support. I very much appreciate it and your different ideas. I do read all the comments and the different suggestions. I then try to implement wherever I can. People seem to spot different things than what I do when they say about things being cluttered or things being untidy. Um, and then by when you spot them and you comment, I then make a point of them thinking, well, can I do something about them? Maybe I can tidy them up today. So I hope you have an enjoyable week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.